Shortly before 10 a.m., divers located a red pickup truck submerged in approximately 25 feet of water in the area of the middle span of the bridge. Divers recovered two, two victims of this tragedy trapped within the vehicle. The victims were identified as Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes, 35 years old, of Baltimore, and Dorlin Ranial Castillo Cabrera, 26 years old, of Dundalk. Their family members were notified just over an hour ago in person by Maryland State Police personnel. We're now moving from a recovery mode to a salvage operation. Because of the superstructure surrounding the vehicle, what we believe are the vehicles, and the amount of concrete and debris, divers are no longer able, able to safely navigate or operate around that. We have exhausted all search efforts in the areas around this, this wreckage, and based on sonar scans, we firmly believe that the vehicles are encased in the superstructure and concrete that we tragically saw come down. At 0124 and 59 seconds, numerous audible alarms were recorded on the ship's audio, bridge audio. About the same time, VDR sensor data ceased recording. However, the VDR audio continued to record using the redundant power source. At around 0126 and 2 seconds, the VDR resumed recording sensor data, and during this time, there were steering commands and rudder orders recorded on the audio. We did bring in uh, one of NTSB's senior hazmat investigators today to begin to look at the cargo and the cargo manifest. Uh, he was able to identify 56 containers of hazardous materials. Uh, that's 764 tons of hazardous materials, mostly corrosives, flammables, uh, and some miscellaneous hazardous materials, class nine hazardous materials, which uh, would include lithium ion batteries. Some of the hazmat containers were breached. Any 
Pete, one of you guys on the south side, one of you guys on the north side, hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So then, until you get that under control, we gotta stop all traffic. C-13 dispatch, the whole bridge just fell down. Start, start is whoever, everybody. The whole bridge just collapsed. Simple dispatch is direct. That's correct. This bridge was in satisfactory condition. The fra last fractural, fracture critical inspection was in May 2023. We have not uh, been able to go through that inspection and all the documents, that, but that will occur after we leave uh, the on-scene portion. The bridge is fracture critical. It's a fracture critical bridge. What that means is if a, a, a member fails, that would likely cause a portion of or the entire bridge to collapse. There's no redundancy. The preferred method for building bridges today is that there is redundancy build it, built in, whether that's transmitting loads to another member or some sort of structural redundancy. Uh, this bridge did not have redundancy.